What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to replace the cabin air filter in a 2000 Lexus RX 300. Lexus, Lexus, I am in a Lexus RX 300. So, I already took the filter out. This is what it looks like brand new. So I'm going to show you guys what the old one looks like. So first thing you got to do is in the glove compartment. Now, if you look back here, this piece of plastic right here, you can see it's like a it's like a little rectangle, like a half, like a quarter rectangle, right? You slide this piece up, and it pops right off. See, it has little legs, like a carpet kind of material to keep it insulated or whatever. That's the first part. I just put them up here so I don't lose them. Then there's another one right there, that second one. See how it says up? In the right corner, it says up. This one, it's a little harder, and I just go in with two fingers. There's like a little uh, ridge on this side. And on the other side too, opposite, it's the same thing. So I just grab it with two fingers, you know, or your thumb if you have skinny hands, but I have fat hands, so that just pops off, slide it back. It has like some kind of insulated ring on here too, so put this up here also. And now the cabin air filter is exposed, so put my hand in here, this piece right here, slides right out. And this is the old fil filthy fuchi kaka pee pee poo one. It has little rocks in there and everything. This probably hasn't been replaced in forever. I just got this car. So this is the old one that was in here. Look how filthy and mucky that one is. Disgusting. And this is the brand new one. What brand is it? The Stoop brand? STP? So... You just pop it out of here. There's like little things to hold it in place right here on the sides. Pop it out of there. Um, I'm going to do it outside the car because this is filthy. And I don't want dust to get in here because I just vacuumed it. So I'm going to pop off the old one, put on the new one, and then I'll show you guys how to reinstall it. It's really simple. Alrighty, guys. New filter is on. one. Now this piece, like the actual glove box, you can disconnect it from the back here and bring it down. But there's there's no point. You know, I'm, I'm, I got pretty beefy hands and... So I'm doing this all one-handed, as you guys can see, too, because I'm recording. So it's kind of hard to do it one hand, but you, you get the sweet spot. Slides all the way back in. <laughs> oh, double check that I actually put it on the right way. Yeah, the, the, the wide part down and the little fence facing upwards. Make sure it's pushed down in between all retainer tabs. I did that already. So slide that in. Now, the, the, after that one... It's the one that has um, the writing. This is up on it. This is the one that goes in. It says number two on it, too. I don't know. If that's OEM to two. This is the one that kind of gives me a pain in the butt because it's behind the glove box. And this one doesn't always go in smoothly. And it's on there. Ugh. There you go. It's on there. And this is the one that connects to the glove box right here. was kind of a pain too, but, um, ah. oh, come on, come on, come on, please, oh, 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 did I get it, did I get it, no, I'm behind it again, let me switch hands, let me go to my right hand, put the camera in my left hand, right, let's see if I can prop the camera right here, okay, I propped it, I'm right-handed, so this is going to be easier with my right hand, Secured. So is the air filter. So now the AC is not going to be as stinky. Close it up. Make sure to dispose of the other one properly, and the job is done. 